This Nordstrom rack sale was so much of a secret that I accidentally shopped it on the wrong day. However, this one tip allowed me to get everything on the sale price regardless, and now I get to shop the secret sales a day earlier every time. If you don't know me, hi, I'm Erlia. I'm a full-time clothing reseller who loves a great deal more than anything. This has fueled my interest in something called retail arbitrage, where you shop retail stores in hopes of finding items to flip for a profit. This sale should have been 25% off, but as it turns out, I came a day earlier than I should have. And I was feeling more than a little anxious when I found out this one trick to getting the discount a day earlier. But of course, this wouldn't be a Nordstrom Rack video without taking you shopping through the store with me, so let's do that first. So when I'm shopping for retail arbitrage, what I'm really looking for are things that are in season or coming into season. So I'm really focused on knitwear, good materials like wool and cashmere right now, as well as nice sturdy boots because those can sell at a really high price point over the winter and the holiday season right around the corner. So those are the things I'm really looking for right now. But if you've noticed, anytime you go into Nordstrom Rack specifically, they always have the opposite seasons on sale mostly. So this is me going through a ton of the spring and summer items. I was lucky. I found this bash cardigan, but it was just right out of my price point that I couldn't pick it up. I did throw it in my cart for a little bit, but I've sold one of their leather jackets, I think around 125 to 150 before. So if I had to pay around $45 for a cardigan, I wasn't sure how much profit I would make. So I ended up putting that one back. And the same thing here with this and other stories, little blouse. It was backless. It was adorable, but they wanted just way too much for this. A ton of their items are priced up now. A lot of retail stores are hurting, so they have have raised their prices if you've noticed. So this is just me hunting really hard for those specialty finds that are hidden in there. And you guys are gonna see this Barefoot Dreams was definitely one of them. This was a rare Disney collab. So this one went in the cart. You're gonna see more of it later because I did end up picking it up. Another tip I have for you guys is to go through all of these skirts and pants because there are a lot of hidden gems in here that people don't want to sort through. This is a Ronnie Kobo skirt. Um, I did have to leave this one behind, however, because Ronnie Kobo is kind of a hit or miss for me. This C New York skirt was adorable. I really love the quilted design on this, but the price point was just too close to online comps, so I had to leave that one behind for someone else to hopefully find in the store. You guys are gonna notice the theme here. A lot of these items are priced up, so a good starting point is around 80% off of retail, but sometimes that doesn't happen. These were a pair of redone jeans, and although the price was right on these, I just wasn't willing to pick them up for the plain black style. Um, black styles don't do as well as blue jean styles, so that one had to get tucked back away. And then later on, of course, I did find another pair of redone jeans, but they wanted $150 for them on the sale, so that was just a big fat no. These are Goldie jeans, same thing here. They wanted a little bit too much for them, and they were a customer return. It looked like someone had washed them, so that one had to go back as well. And after that, I really hadn't found a ton in the clothing, so I went over to the shoes, and usually I don't find a lot in the shoes, but of course, the first thing I found on the rack was a hit and these were a pair of Stuart Weitzman chunky lug sole boots. I loved this style and you guys are going to see with my one secret tip I also got some extra bonus notes so I did use those and I kind of applied them in my mind to those boots. These little boots were adorable but they weren't real leather so one thing that I do when I'm going through at retail arbitrage is again looking for quality materials. These were suede from Free People and they were at an excellent price so I did end up picking these ones up. They didn't have the box though. Look at that cart. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. But another brand I want you guys to be on the lookout for are these P448 sneakers. You can either do them retail arbitrage or thrift them. They are excellent. I've sold them around $100 before, several times actually, so they're really great. Um, these Matisse boots were a new pickup for me. They were a two-toned leather boot. They were originally $205, and they really reminded me of the Aloha's boots, which I love selling Aloha's shoes as well. These frame boots actually did catch my attention because of the little letters on them but at first I wasn't sure what they were they were still out of my price point they were like $300 on sale so that was just a big fat no these Veronica beard wedges were adorable but they were a little bit too springy for me to pick up right now in a smaller size so those had to go back as well however after going through these shoes I was kind of noticing that they didn't have any sale banners up everywhere even though they should have had them up by now so I was getting a little bit self-conscious because my cart was full so I decided to ask an employee and she went to go ask a manager while I was sorting through some comments and what she had to tell me on the way back was so exciting. Basically, by becoming a card holder, I did get the sale price and I got additional bonus notes off, which was great. 
Oh my gosh. So I came on Thursday and I came today on Friday. It turns out I still somehow came on the wrong day. However, there was a hack. I did open up a credit card. I did not use it, however. So if you opened up a credit card that day, you got the 25% off a day early and you also got an additional $40 bonus note that you could use on your order. So in total, I spent $282 on everything. I found a lot of shoes today, which was wild. I usually never find shoes. I only had one clothing item because everything else was just priced up out of my price range. So I ended up finding two pairs of Free People boots. These are a leather pair and I also found a suede pair. I believe that they are both in the exact same size. I am always on the hunt for cowboy boots because these sell so, so well for me. For these, I only paid $43 a piece, which is a pretty good price considering that these are in pristine condition. Another item I have really had my eyes on in another store and I noticed that they were marked down all the way to $50 are these Farm Rio sandals. These are brand new in the box with the tags. These are a size 10, which is a great size to sell. So I do think that these are going to go pretty fast. Another pair of boots I picked up, I normally would have not picked up this brand, but I've been seeing that it's been performing really, really well. So when I saw these, I knew I had to pick them up. These were only $45 after the discount, I believe. So they are just these beautiful color block detail neutral um, boots from Matisse. They have a white and a cream on the back here with just a leather pointed toe and a zipper down the back. These boots retailed for $205. So online, I think I could sell them for about $125 to $150. I'm hoping for a little bit higher just because these are in season. But again, these are brand new leather boots, so I can't imagine that these won't sell well. The next item here is definitely not going to show up on camera that well, but finally I picked up this Mickey Mouse Barefoot Dreams cardigan. This thing is huge, super long, super cozy, and for this one I only paid $45, which I know some of you are not going to agree with. However, this is a limited edition collab with Disney, and Disney products do extremely well, but Barefoot Dreams also also is a big bolo that you guys want to make sure that you're picking up. It also has Mickey Mouse on the back here and I believe that it also has the Mickey Mouse logo embroidered on this cardigan somewhere which I did see earlier but I can't seem to find it now. This thing again is huge so I'm excited to see how much this goes for. I think that this could sell easily for $120 but as it gets closer to the holidays here I think it might sell for a bit more. So these are the other pair of boots from Free People. They are these suede embroidered cognac color. Um, um, the only thing with these is I think they have a little bit of light material wear on the tops from storage. There's absolutely no wear on the bottoms here, so these are in pristine condition. I really enjoyed all of the Western details on this boot, and honestly, I think that these could easily sell fast for about $100, so I'm super pumped to see how these do. I usually don't pick up Free People items that often, unless they are a unique style or something like this when they are leather or suede. Some Free People items can be super lucrative, but some just have a high MSRP when they're really not worth that much. And the final item I want to show you guys is something that I actually hid in the store and I didn't mean to, um, but I had put these back yesterday and I just was unsure about them. So when I got in the store today, I immediately ran to that section to go and pick them up. They don't have the box, so keep that in mind, but they are these beautiful lug sole leather boots from Stuart Weitzman. This style of boot is very trendy right now, so I have a feeling that these also will go fast. It might not necessarily be cheap cheap, but people that want to invest in good pieces, especially footwear, will when they're a high quality material. So something like this, I absolutely will pick up, but for others, it might be out of their price range. Let me know down in the comments if you guys found anything at this sale. I definitely will be hitting this one up again. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.